This album, Donna Summer, Once Upon a Time, has gotten probably the best reviews of any new album in the last 10 years. You, you can't believe them when you read them. They're fantastic. It's what you call a concept album. It's a story. And Donna Summer rightly deserves them. She's a phenomenon in the record industry. She also has a movie coming out, as Neil told you. So from Casablanca Records, will you greet with her latest big hit, just a section of it, Donna Summer. Doesn't that feel good when you do that? Huh? I love it. <laughs> and just when a record's a hit and you can do that too, that's twice as good. Thank you. Oh, I'm so proud, Donna. Gee. So am I. I remember your first appearance. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be. I remember your first appearance here. I do too. <laughs> but it wasn't with all those sales that are out no. there now. No. And that's the fella, huh? Yeah, he's the fella. Yeah, you should know how fond. <laughs> Donnie is of Neil and Joyce. They've been really great instruments in your life, yeah. haven't they? They've been in, they've been very um, instrumental in right. everything I've done, and have participated in every part uh, of my career, right down to waking me up in the morning. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> and do you make those noises when you wake up in the morning? Yes. Yes. <laughs> For different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> that, of course, is uh, her last hit, and now they're going to start from this album. That's the new idea, isn't it? An album is put out now, and one at a time you start releasing singles, and one at a time they become hits until uh, everything's out as a single, right? And... Not quite everything. We, we leave some of the stuff for the people that uh, enjoy the albums as something special for them. Now, this is a concept album. This is a story, yes. isn't it? Yes, All the way through. Talk, uh, talk to us a little bit about it. Well, it's sort of the story of my life. Um... I sort of picture my life as being kind of a Cinderella story because uh, about four years ago, in the pits of Germany, washing dishes, scrubbing floors every day, <laughs> you did hoping that? for a better world, yes. Did you, Donna? Yes. Um, in Germany? In Germany, yeah. Did Before? you do, do you windows? Well, no, I don't, and I don't know I am. Did you get Thursdays off? <laughs> How much you paying? Right? Yeah. <laughs> and you created this whole idea? Uh, together with um, Joyce Bogart and Susan Mineo, we wrote uh, a concept, and then I went into studio with my producers, and we recorded it and wrote the lyrics and so forth. You do most of your recording in Germany, don't you? Yes. Why? Because I'm at home in Germany, and uh, because of the atmosphere, basically. I th studios are like home. You, uh, you get so accustomed to feeling secure that uh, being somewhere else can totally disorient you. Yeah. That's a new thing in the industry, too. The Bee Gees were recently here. They do everything in a studio in Florida mm -hmm. and won't do it anywhere else. So I guess it is like a second yeah, home. And you have to feel comfortable if you're going to create that kind of very personal music. Right? Yeah, well, if you figure that at least four months of the year you're in a studio, at least, and some people even more, then it is home. The first new one that I ever visited, I really laughed when I went, because I remember in the old days, well, 
when we used to sing into a cylinder. No, no. <laughs> and a dog used to listen. No, I mean, no, that's not true. But we used to go to a recording studio and you do it and you get out, right? They start the tape and you, you wouldn't, you just do it until you got it right. Now I went over here to a record place. They had saunas, you know, water beds. The groups lie down in between takes and they're fanned, everybody fans them. Bring in the best foods from the best restaurants and it really becomes a party for a week until they create. No, not always. Some, oh, not quite. Some, some, some people can spend, some artists can spend two, three months in a studio. Donna walks into a studio and if it takes more than three days, I mean, it's a long time for her. You know, she just walks in and just picks it up and does all it. All business, huh, Donna? I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all work and no play, Donna? Well, three days of work and that's it. But I, I only record as long as it's fun. And I feel like the faster I get finished with it, the more money I earn, the more fun it is to go to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the bank is in about every country in the world, isn't it? <laughs> I picked up those trade magazines, and you look, you can see what's, uh, what's cooking in Italy, and uh, France, and Germany, and England, and Australia, and New Zealand. And in every list, the only American artist who is in every list is Donna Summer. You just sell everywhere that somebody has a stereo or some kind of record player. I get letters from Africa. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That is good. From this album, you're going to do what uh, is your new single, mm -hmm. I Love You. Mm -hmm. That simply says it. Donna Summer. <laughs> Until the stars fall from the sky. 